Greetings, ladies and gentlemen, cats and kittens. We are back with Star Trek Online. And there are two episodes left that I haven't played yet. They are part of the new patch, the Stormfall update. So we're, I'm going to play Blue Shift today and The Calling tomorrow. These episodes are part of the event that's going on. You can see that here. So. I already have three progress, so the next two will be these two new episodes. Admiral Janeway and a team of specialists have finalized a plan to liberate one of our own from the Terran Empire. The consultants from the Mirror Universe have been helpful in this effort, and we'll be working alongside the Admiral in the upcoming rescue operation. Together, we're hoping to put an end to the plans of the Terran Empire before he has the chance to see them come to fruition. I'd like you to join the team and work with them to bring Lieutenant Ilea back home. Report to Admiral Janeway at Jupiter Station. Good luck. Okay, so we'll go to Jupiter Station and uh, talk to Aunt Kathy. And I'm gonna play this with my main character, with Captain, or in this case, Admiral Matthew Blue Fox. You made it. Good. Ready to get started? Ready and able, Admiral. That's what I like to hear. Once we've made the transition to the Mirror Universe, we'll use some misdirection tactics. Turnabout's fair play, so we'll be engaging the Terrans at their version of Jupiter Station. During the chaos, your strike team will disembark on a Terran runabout and head for their primary space dock. Once you're on board, you'll conduct rescue operations. Understood. While you're extracting Ilea, I'll lead our starship force and keep the Terrans busy. Once you've sent the signal, we'll warp to Terra and collect you at the extraction point. From there, we'll make the transition back to this universe. That's assuming everything goes smoothly, of course. Be ready to improvise if the Terrans decide to complicate matters. Of course, Admiral. And speaking of Terrans, you'll need to beam our consultants from the Mirror Universe to your ship before we cross over. They'll be joining your team on the operation. They're standing by for transport once you're in range. Rendezvous with Voyager. Beam the Terrans to your ship. And then head to the assembly point. Understood. We will pick them up on our way to the transition point. This is the Juno. We've completed major repairs and are moving into formation. Lee, touch a bridge. The Marshal and I are on board and ready to begin. The Innsbruck reports the portal device is charged and ready. Greetings from Austria. We have an Innsbruck ship here. Nice. So this is the Innsbruck over here. Turing to fleet. We are in position and ready to begin. That's everyone. Once you're ready, the Innsbruck will open the portal and will travel to the Mirror Universe. Innsbruck to fleet. The portal is open for business. I don't even know what kind of ship class that is. It looks like um, one of these Intel heavy battle cruisers from pretty Here early. Here we go. Don't pull any punches. We know they won't. Shields at maximum and weapons free. All right. Be sure We've to protect the Innsbruck. She's our ticket home. Keep, keep, keep an eye on ships. This is Admiral Janeway. Once we engage the Terran vessel, yeah. thanks for starting combat when the dialogue is still going on. Make them desperate enough to call for backup. For a Terran requesting aid. You know, if you put if you put the enemies a few kilometers further away, this will happen. It. They're calling for reinforcements. And I sold 15 Jevonite. Nice. 
the misdirection worked, knock, knock. we rattled the Terrans enough to call for backup. That gives us time to begin the next phase of the operation. You're up. Disembark on the Terran runabout and head to Terra at top speed. We'll remain here and keep them busy. Hopefully we'll buy you enough time to complete your objectives. Good luck, Admiral. Same to you. Ah, a word of advice. Keep an eye on your Terran teammates. Neither of them got to where they were in the Empire without the use of treachery. That's good advice. We'll be waiting for your signal. Once we have it, we'll come to pick you up. Be ready to make a hasty exit. I don't think any of us want to remain at the heart of the Terran Empire any longer than we have to. The new runabout model? Next stop, TSD. Terran space dock, or Terra space dock, probably. So we're gonna Terran, actually. Okay. Here's where the fun begins. Terran space dock. This is the runabout. This new runabout model Request is really, dock. really nice. Well done. This one even has a Terran symbol on the front, as you could see. Runabout right Nile, you are clear to land. Glory to the Empire. All right, the easy part is over. The way he says glory to the Empire is like, well, to the board. <laughs> so this is the part... Oh, sorry. As long as they're scrambling, we'll have a decent chance of pulling this off. If we give them time to think, to organize... Right, it's a lot harder at that point. So, let's get moving. We need to take operations and find out where they're keeping your Delta. Move the out. The comps will make short work of the database security and ops. And that's Age all to scatter volume. Or this operation nice. will end in failure. Hmm, I should probably move these mini notifications here. The fancy notifications and the others further down here or maybe even here it's probably better okay so this was the part where uh, the bug would kick in before the patch that the episode would have progress Marshal Janeway here who were you expecting the ghost of Emperor Zora <laughs> the guns of Emperor Georgia. Yeah, well, I mean... Why not? <laughs> Look, the controls for the blast doors are over there! Yeah, I like these new uh, interact circles there on the floor. Hey, what do you exocomps need to better. hack this door control? So the exocomps are now... Opening the door. Lemon squeezy peasy lemon squeezy, yeah. I say that uh, since I've uh, heard Negan say that in The Walking Dead. He said it in such a cool way that now I start to say this too. So let's activate all our buffies. Open the blast doors to ops before more security arrives. Clear the room. Let's get what we came here for. And here I was, hoping Quinn would be around so I could relieve him of his duty. Permanently. They changed the codes. Exocomp, get to work. As you can see here, oh, Trailblazer like class here in the dock. Mirror Voyager is the one. Yeah. Security! They've made it to ops! Oh, they're coming from here too. So much loot. I love loot. Let's go. <laughs> there goes my Dino with freaking laser beams. <laughs> yeah, when the, the last uh, Mutt sale was going on, I actually bought that one. 
with all the dilithium that I've gotten recently, it was a, that was an easy peasy lemon squeezy. <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> so now we have to hack the database. Okay, Exotomps, time to earn your pay. Crack their security and find out where they're keeping Starfleet's hairless wonder. Hairless wonder. to keep the security teams off of them while they work. Acknowledged. Ready weapons. Oh yeah, rubber banding is still going on by the way. I thought that would be fixed with the last patch. We have daily maintenance basically after every that's normal after every patch. That is this size like a season patch, then you have daily maintenance for the rest of the week. But it didn't really help. As you can see, uh, the rubber banding is still an issue, and that hasn't been an issue for like six or seven years. The only positive that I can say about this is that there are probably more players again. The game has been pretty dead the last few years, so... Yeah, more time-gated stuff here, as you can see. Um, this is basically uh, Operation Wolf all over again. Just without Admiral Quinn, but... Just uh, activate a few more of these Baul pylons here. Speaking of, uh, of the build that I'm using here for my ground characters in space, I will do a like when when this is over here. These two episodes tomorrow is uh, the calling, and when this episode is that episode is over, I'm gonna do okay, we're in. like Let's first I'm gonna go take my holidays, but after that, Vander, I'm gonna do videos. Is on deck 74 in a security station. Not good. We all know what happens in one of those, and it usually begins with an agonizer booth. Yeah, after that, I'm gonna do videos like almost every day and introduce all of my characters that I've done, including their setups and everything. All right, so we need to hurry then, huh? It's on deck 74. Damn right we do. If they lock the station down before we get there, it's all over. For her and for us. We need to get out of here. There's a turbo lift in the main concourse we can take to reach deck 74 quickly. Understood. Let's get the turbo lift and head to deck Exocom. 74. Get back to the runabout and get her ready for a quick getaway. We'll keep the engine running, Admiral. Did you hear that? She wants me to pilot the runabout. Oh, oh, more guards, of course. You can fly with flyers. There she is. Ah, yes. Voyager. The terror of the devil. <laughs> uh, okay, now they're even talking about it. So it is Voyager, actually. Seventy-four. Not forty-seven. Seventy-four. Keep moving. We can't. Cool, so we see some interiors of turn space dock here. So far, it's probably like the interior of Terran Space Dock is probably the, the the stuff that I like most so far in this episode. Other than that, sadly, it's just a replique of um, a replica, I guess in English. Um, it's a replica of the TFO so far, but now we see um, some more custom Heads interiors, up. which is Security's nice. Security beaming in. We have them now. And I hate time-gated content, because that is so, like, it's uninspirational, it's just, when you don't know what to do, let the player fight for five minutes just to make the episode a little longer, you know. Nobody gets through! Captain Tilly's orders! Son? My phaser outranks Captain Tilly, and it says you're relieved. <laughs> My phaser outranks... The dialogue, though, is pretty funny. Like, it's a small bits here and there. Also with the exocomps. 
Quickly, Ilea is You saw on Data the there on the left. <laughs> My bridge well, officer. Look what the cat dragged in. Meow. The Sorry, cat. Grandma. The Emperor's prize is staying right where she is. <laughs> cool marker. Come on out. Let's settle this like Terrence. Jamel yeah, on the left. Come on out so I can end you and take back my ship. Yeah, hard pass. I have better things to do than tussle with a pair of old has-beens. Still, if you really want to fight, the Inquisitor is here to give you one. Okay, the away team looks a little weird, but yeah, the Inquisitor obviously is the mirror me. There's only room for one of us in the universe, and it isn't you. Uh, hello, I wanted to pick up the loot first. You know, this is also something. There was obviously still loot uh, back then, and uh, I would prefer if the cutscene doesn't come immediately. So I could actually pick up the loot there. There was green loot that I couldn't pick up. And that's bare EC. Okay, so we have to get to a console now. There's the console. Shield disabled. Take out the Inquisitor. Yeah, Kumaka is actually the The one who is uh get to that console to shut it down. The the feature person of the of the reward that we that we're gonna get. Enemy target on it's called the visionary the Kumake visionary ground set. Kumarke is shielding the equipment. Get to that console to shut it down. I just feel that I'm not really making any progress here. Shield disabled. Take out the Inquisitor. I thought that I would get squad. like slowed down in that field, but it doesn't look like reinforcements it. incoming. Take them out. Kumarke is shielding the Inquisitor. Oh man, really? Shut it down. Oh, now it's the other console. <sighs> Yeah, after like two or three, like at the third take, he should go down. This is taking too long. We have a problem. Several Federation vessels are approaching. Yeah, these agony fields or whatever this is, they're not hurting me. Or not enough, probably. But like, you can just walk through them without any issues. I from the Delton. Inquisitor, we're leaving. This isn't over. Sooner or later. Is this? I will end you. Ah, Perhaps that's you him. Will, Marshal, <laughs> so, what today. is that shield? Be seeing him. Tilly's machine is recharging. What did Jamel say? I thought I saw dialogue. Wow. Look at this. Look at all this healing. She must have gotten hurt pretty badly. We need to get out of here. I can set up a site-to-site -site transport, but we'll need to deal with the transporter disruptors in the room first. Okay, let's get to work then. Leda, get those transporter disruptors offline. I'm on it. The sooner we're out of here, the better. While she's working, enable Ilya's pod for transport. Transporter disruptors are offline. We're all set. All right, we're good to go here. Ready to beam out when you are, Marshal. I really like good. the new Jamel. Prepare for transport. Also, the hairstyle. I love Kathy's hairstyle here, the mirror one. This should be uh, a con uh, configuration for um, the actual character setup when you when you start character creation. We made it. Hold on. Where the hell is Marshal Janeway? Where's Kathy? Where's the doctor? Where's the captain? Looks like the Where's... Went into business for herself. What? <laughs> I love this outtake. Star Trek The Next Generation and then Brent Spider goes like... Argh. 
Worf is carrying him. <laughs> so good. Okay. <laughs> Exocomps, get out here. We've got work to it do. It won't take long before Terran security traces our transporter signal here, so we're gonna have to move quickly. The Exocomps will need to hack the terminals on the far side of the bay. While they work, we'll provide covering fire. Once the hangar bay doors are open, we need to get back to the runabout and take off before the hangar bay doors close and lock us in. I hope you're up for a fight. I don't think they'll let us go without a proper Terran goodbye. Uh, speaking of Terran goodbye, a really good starship trade, but it's expensive as hell. Defend exocomps during hack, and then the no oh man, really another time gated stuff for you here. I can already see what what this is going to be. Return to runabout to escape. Yeah, I assume it involves a lot of phaser fire and destruction. Here we go again. Escort the exocomps to the hangar door controls. Then help me handle the security teams. Yeah. Oh, I've actually confused them. You see, they, they actually went after each other. <laughs> well, at least they're looting, so that's good. I haven't gotten some loot for a while. Hold off Terrence and deal, uh, es Escort exocomps to door controls. Oh, okay, so we have to go there. Yeah, okay, so I lost even more time then. Because now actually the time-gated stuff is now just starting. Oh, there is green loot up there. Let's go to get, get the loot while we are waiting. I'm probably the only one. Oh my god, what's this? Anyway. Uh, yeah. I always like okay but well, most of these other content creators they're really good the only thing that bugs me is just they never pick up stuff this is like this is EC that, that you're like this is the only hint or uh, the only advice that I could give probably is you know their gear might be ten times better than mine in most of the time uh, I don't do lockbox stuff and anything I'm more or less free to play. I'm a lifetimer, yes, but this is pretty much it. Oh, they're coming from everywhere, huh? But if I get some uh, special things, like traits, especially like unconventional systems, Boimler effect, and all that stuff, I buy that stuff off the exchange. With what? Of course, with the EC. And as you can see here, when you pick up everything, I mean, in ground it doesn't matter too much because the, the values of these items are not that high, but in space, like a blue impulse engine gives you 16,000 energy credits. When you do, um... patrols and, you know... When you, when you kill a lot of stuff, like for example, 9th rule. Let's that patrol yields about I don't know like they they drop so much stuff especially in the time gated loop they loot so much it's crazy you can get like hundreds of thousands of energy credits just with selling stuff to the vendor and sometimes you're lucky and get like a blue mark 12 phaser relay console that sells for 200k on the exchange just do this continuously and that's how you you get your entry credits. See the Terran goodbye. Terran goodbye. And then, you know, this oh, is how you can buy these traits off the exchange. Well, we're leaving anyway. See ya. Sad that we couldn't see the entire Terran space dock there. Was well, just a part of it in the in the flyby, but I would have loved to see the Terran. Ah, there he is. As soon as we could. Unfortunately, the Terrans we were fighting at Jupiter Station decided to follow us. As you can see, they're out for blood. We're going to have to fight our way out of here. Understood. All hands are at the alert. The Innsbruck needs time to charge the portal device. Time's a luxury we don't have. Every Terran in range is closing in on us. Wow. 
All ships, rendezvous with the end group. It's time to go home. Nice cutscene. Handbook complete. That hit knocked the portal device offline. Oh, no, you know. No running home for you. You're about to take a trip straight like to say, hell. Tear it into rise. Going out fighting, eh? Yeah, it's the ISS Enterprise and it's the right. ISS. Get fighting. that portal device online. I still don't like these impulse trails. Terran Space Dock looks really cool. Now that's something I wasn't expecting. Nice of you to join us, Marshal. Nice Your opponents there. owe me a pound of flesh, and I need to collect every apple. Defiant is under cloak. There Stay sharp. That was too easy. Tactical. Fire at will. Heads up! The Defiant just dropped out of cloak. Helm, get us out of here now. Maximum warp. You're just keeping my seat warm, Tilly. Enterprise is my... Well fought. Perhaps my choice of allies was ill-informed. Watch your back, Inquisitor. <laughs> There's an unhealthy number of... I believe I've had enough fun for today. Be seeing you. Okay. Oh, your uh, is gonna come. Is it ever gonna stop? Dabbing purple hobgoblin! Well, this has been an interesting experience. But I think it's time we parted company. You should return to your universe while you can. That's the plan. What about you, Marshal? For now, I plan on staying alive and making life as difficult as possible for Tilly and her lackeys. I'm not finished with them. Not by a long shot. Understood. Good luck with that, Marshal. Wineland out. On that note, let's get the hell out of here. I've had my fill of the mirror universe. Oh, how nice. I like that. I like that. I really should not be playing these episodes when they're not completely bug free. So, will we get it this time? Yes. I like that stargazer. We made it, and without any Terrans tagging along. Let's get Ilea back to Jupiter Station. She may require medical assistance. Understood. Helm, take us to transporter range from Jupiter Station. You are in transporter range now. Prepare Ilea for secure transport. Ilea's pod is reading all systems nominal. We're ready to transmit the secure transport protocol. Protocols verified and confirmed. We're ready for transport. Ilea is secure on Jupiter Station. Please come alongside Voyager. Where is Voyager? Over there. Ilea's in good hands. The medical team on Jupiter Station will take good care of her. I'd like to go over things with you on Voyager. Let's see if we can make some sense out of all this. Oh, we're gonna see Voyager again. Where's Chakoti? Where's Bellana? <laughs> nice! <laughs> I don't like leaving unfinished business behind. Tilly still has my ship. And Kubarke is still breathing. That needs to change soon. Still. 
Marshal Janeway can get her shit back, so can I. Who knows? Maybe we'll team up. <laughs> the outlaws together. Stranger things have happened. Indeed, especially over the last few hours. It won't be easy for my mirror counterpart. She's practically a pirate now. And I suspect the Terrans will do all they can to make an example of her. Based on what I've seen, they've got their work cut out for them. Indeed they do. The Marshal is very tenacious. Oh, there was the a closing cutscene. We pulled it off. Bad news. Terrans don't like to lose. They'll be back. Trust me. Let them come. Jupiter Station was a wake-up call. Next time, we'll be ready. They needed Ilea for something. But for what? We still have a lot of unanswered questions. And I don't think we're going to like the answers. Major, the other is coming. The other is coming! Okay! I mean, it was bound to happen when we see Lieutenant Elia there. <coughs> Star Trek motion picture is becoming a thing in the next episode. Nice work out there. Ilea is safe once more. We need to learn more about the Emperor's objectives. To that end, agents of Starfleet Intelligence are joining forces with covert operatives from our partners in the Alliance. They'll be conducting operations in the Mirror Universe and, with luck, we'll have intel on the Emperor's plans soon. I'll contact you when we have more information. Until then, stay safe out there. So we're going to get this Terran knife. And uh, of course, daily in progress is the most important thing here. The dilithium more. Well, 384. Could be more, but it's okay. So, only the calling left. And that's what we're going to do tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Until next time. And Tschüssikowski.